The following video will provide an introduction on how to view a point-to-point -point resistance violation using ICV VUE. We'll be discussing how to view a point-to-point -point resistance violation, as well as how to bring up and use the path heat map GUI, which is provided with PERC VUE. Upon the completion of your PERC point-to-point -point run, open the VUE file which was generated during the run. Once loaded, navigate to the PERC results tab. Now let's open an ESD point-to-point -point check. The details pane in the check will show the error path, as well as all of the objects associated with the path, including source and sync ports, pin devices, and devices if they were part of the ICV PERC point-to-point -point check path. Clicking different parts, as seen with the different types, brings up different options. For example, clicking a port or a net allows us to highlight the net, port polygons, or net layers associated with that net. If we right-click on a device type or a type associated with the device, we're presented with a different menu. For example, highlight device, pin polygon, pin location. For this example, right-click on the path. Once we do this, we can highlight the path flight line between the source and the sink. Note that doing so brings up a red line in between our source and sink points. Let's also open up the PERC path heat map. Upon opening this, the hide view button is quite useful as it will hide the main part of view and leave the highlight path as the only open view box. At the top, we have different PERC options, the ability to clear highlights we may have already highlighted, a zoom option, where we'll either zoom directly to components we're highlighting, pan over to them, or don't move at all. Pro Polygon is something we'll discuss later in this video, as it's quite useful to find individual shapes and their attributes. And we also have the option to highlight the sources, the sinks, and the flight line from this menu. For example, if we wish to highlight a source, we can set the size of the highlight and the coloration of the highlight. Note the green dot which has appeared. For sinks, we can do the same. Also useful, we can find the contribution to path resistance for each one of the layers in our check. So in this case, we can see that metal 5, which is a conducting layer, contributes the most resistance out of any of the layers in the path from source to sink, in this case, 16%. The columns can be sorted. Left-clicking will do so. If we choose to highlight layers, we can highlight by physical layer, the current in the shapes, or the voltage power dissipation in the shapes themselves. For this example, let's do it by voltage. If we wish to change the buckets, we can type directly into the field, seen here. Also, if we right click, we can choose to check all, uncheck, or recalculate the bin ranges based on information that we may have inputted. For example, I put in a value which was 1. None of our errors are this high, so by hitting recalculate, we set back down to the highest range errors that we see. We can adjust the number of bins by exploring the PERC options, which we'll do in a later video. For right now, let's highlight all of the power dissipation on the IO1 net. The colors seen in Workbench correlate with color bins which we have in the Highlight Path area. If we zoom in and wish to find specifically more information about one of our polygons, 
we can use the Probe a Polygon feature in Highlight Path. Once we've selected this, let's move over one of our polygons in Workbench. In this area, there's multiple polygons on top of each other, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Let's only check Metal 3 so we can learn more about this metal. Once we've selected Metal 3 and hit Highlight, we can again go to Probe Polygon and click our metal. Now we can find out how this specific piece in the layout contributed to path resistance, find out things about the current flowing through it in our experiment, width, length, and the resistance of this explicit block. The bounding box is seen, and the bounding box gives information as to what we're actually looking at in terms of the information presented. Further videos will discuss more complex topics, such as how to use different perk options in EUE, but this is meant to provide a brief overview of how to open up a PERC point-to-point -point resistance check. For further information and videos, please contact your Synopsys PERC ICV representative. Thank you.